This shield provides a USB client interface and the program that's currently running on this Arduino provides um, human interface device support and it's all done with just a couple of passive components. There are also four buttons which are wired to digital inputs on the Arduino. So what it does is basically watch for key press events and when a key is pressed it then sends a key event um, as an HID event to the host computer. So when we plug this in, the computer actually thinks we've plugged in a keyboard. So let's have a look at that. Let's get that ready, but not quite. Shove it in. Now over here, we'll watch the syslog. I'll plug in the Arduino, and you can see that it has just identified it as a keyboard. Now that opens up a whole lot of possibilities. It means what you can do is have an Arduino detect events and then send key presses, uh, which means you can interface with software that you wouldn't normally be able to interface with, something that only takes key events. Um, for example, you could build yourself a custom game controller. So here we've got Frozen Bubble, and what I've done is mapped buttons on here to uh, controls in Frozen Bubble. So I'll pull up a game. and now what I can do is control this to move left, move right and fire the bubble and this is all being done out of software using Philip Lindsay's USB keyboard library running on the Arduino which is pretty cool that you can implement a HID almost entirely in software